Dealing with complex history and memories is a big theme at the Sarajevo Film Festival. One of those films of 2016 is In the Same Garden. Let's take a look at the trailer. Beneath the blue waves, there isn't just darkness. There is also love and light. Maybe even for me and my soul. Maybe. And now to talk about the movie In the Same Garden, two of its very young directors join me now on Showcase, Andrei Ladin and Ali Askari. Hello and welcome to Showcase. Thank you Hello. for joining us. Thank Thanks for having us. I hear the movie is not just one movie, but it's comprised of lots of small movies. Tell us about it a little bit. Yeah, well, it's, it's an omnibus movie that's okay. part of ten different uh, or nine different segments. Mm -hmm. And we've been nine different directors who've all done one part of it, basically. Uh, and they're all, you know, standalone parts from each other, but share a thema thematic sense what? as a whole of the omnibus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how did your particular involvement with the movie happen? Because it brings together lots of different directors, some, you know, some of them with lots of experience, some of them a lot younger like you guys. How did your involvement begin? <coughs> I think we were young, but uh, we, we had experience in making short films. That's why they invited us because they were looking for the, yeah, the, the filmmakers that have uh, a good festival success. So they basically, in my case, they contacted me as they have seen my films that were screened in other festivals. So they asked me for being part of this project. How did yours happen? Yeah, same. I mean, I was contacted in March 20, 2015, basically about. Um, by the producers of this project and they explained it to me and I went to Istanbul and had a meeting with them and I thought it sounded very exciting and uh, an interesting topic also to make a, a film about. So I, I was hooked right away and yeah. I thought that this is something I, I had to do and, and same, I was also a short film director, I've had done short films before so I think they were looking specifically for our type of director. Right. Well, Turkish-Armenian relations are a complex subject. Everybody, it's never easy to please everybody. Um, how did you first react when you first heard Turkish-Armenian relations? Did you do research? How did you prepare? How did everything begin at the start of your movie making? Yeah, well, I mean, for me, I mean, you always, I mean, I know just as much as any other person who's gone to school about the conflict, which isn't a lot, but they, I, know, right. I know about it and I know um, the, the general sense of it, um, but I had to do uh, research. I mean, uh, I read a lot online, and this was uh, coinciding with a hundred years since the events took place. So there was a lot of articles in, in the media. So I, I read a lot in the media and, and did some internet research to try and just get a grasp of the general sense of it. And as you say, it's a very complicated uh, subject, and there's different takes on all sides. Yeah, but in my case, uh, I'm from Iran, and we are border, common border with both Turkey and Armenia. So, from when I was a child, we all the time hear about these conflicts that is happening around them. And at the same time, there are a lot of Armenian living in Iran, also some Turkish who live in Iran. Yeah. So, I was quite uh, familiar with this subject. So that's why uh, when I heard that we are going to make a film 
uh, not about the conflict, but about the uh, friendship and the peace between these two nations and looking them at the uh, more in a humanistic way rather than the politics. So that was the, I was quite uh, impressed by the, the subject. So tell us about the individual plots of your movies. I hear you wrote the movies yourself. Uh, maybe start with Andre first. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was never interested in making a, you know, a political movie or a political statement in my movie. I was much more interested in like the human aspect and the human mm -hmm. drama. And and I centered my story. It takes place in Spain, and it's about um, uh, a competition freediver, a female competition freediver, mm -hmm. who's in Spain to set the world record, and and she's sort of haunted by her her past and, and uh, her relationship with her former husband. And I made that sort of a symbolic story between the struggle the two of them have and, and, and centered around the theme of, of uh, redemption and reconciliation. Mm -hmm. But uh, mine is a story of an Armenian woman uh, who is going to uh, work in a house as a babysitter and uh, when she goes there for an interview, a job interview, and she finds out that the, the owner of the house is a Turkish woman. So she tries to like uh, hide her like nationality, and at the, at the end of the film, she finds out that the, uh, the Turkish woman has a like Armenian man. So they are a couple, Turkish-Armenian couple. Oh, OK. Interesting. Well, I hear during the making, you didn't know any of the other films or who was making the films. What was it like making something that you didn't have control over the complete product? How did it feel? Uh, for me, it was uh, very interesting because uh, we didn't have any idea about the... We had just a team and we didn't have any idea what is going around in other films. So it gives uh, me uh, more freedom to to write and work on what, what, what really I like and without considering the other film. So uh, in, in this case, for me, it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also, I also thought it was a very liberating way to work. I mean, there was a general yeah. theme that we were kind of all going towards. Um, but but I, I mean, I didn't know what anyone else was doing. I was just focusing on, on my project and, and what I wanted to say with, with my film. And uh, obviously, if I knew what Ollie or what anyone else was doing, that would have changed. I mean, Maybe that would have, have yeah, yeah. Yeah. there would have been different, uh, different yeah. uh, movies. And um, I, I think this was a good way to work, and I think this was a good way to get each individual voice their right. own movie. Right. Well, do you see what the role of art and in politics or human relations? That do you think it has a certain role? or does it just convey emotions or something else entirely? What is your personal opinion on that? I mean, I think art and culture and movies and music play a huge role in our you know, everyday life and the aspect of how we look at and view things. It creates opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, it, can, it can start discussions. It can open discussions, which I think is great. And, and I mean, traditionally, historically, film has always been like that. I mean, thinking of... Um, I mean, it was used as like a revolutionary tool in, in, the, Soviet, in the Soviet Union right. and used for education. So film is always going to be a big part of human society, which I think is, is great when people respect it and use it for the right purposes. Right. Yeah, as he said, it's uh, quiet. In fact, cinema is the most powerful art to manipulating and affecting the people. Basically, uh, it can be in a good way and in a bad way so it can be uh, more educative or it can be like some you know, US films more uh, dangerous for the human being but right. uh, uh, generally it, it has a it has a power in the society in the politics uh, as you said about the Soviet Union I can say also about the Italian fascism that uh, that had a great power uh, and they like created the, the Cinecittà in Italy and they they made a lot of film but uh, that was a part of uh, like maybe bad part of it but also there are a lot of uh, good side of the cinema like this project so we are also talking about the peace and about love and about the human being and that that's a good part of it mm -hmm. so how's the festival going for you guys enjoying it so far have you seen any movies or do, is there anyone that you want to see 
I mean, I, I got in last night, and you got in today, so we haven't uh, we haven't seen that we haven't much. Seen we only saw yeah. each other. I just other. come one hour ago. Two one hours hour ago. ago? Okay. Yeah. We, saw, we saw we saw our movie like the full omnibus for the first time yeah. uh, mm -hmm. today. So I I mean that was a lot of fun and interesting. So yeah. so but but hopefully we'll I'll get to see something else before I before I go home. But uh, I've enjoyed Syria so far. Beautiful city. Yeah. Definitely. Well, Andre Ladin and Ali Askari, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.